everyone. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you're new here, my name is Lily. I'm a pre-medder who is a former barista and loves sharing coffee content. And if you're not new here, thank you guys so much for watching my content loyally. And of course, thank you and welcome back for tuning in. Um, today, if you guys could tell from the title of this episode, we are doing another taste test. And I apologize for doing a bunch of taste tests recently. I've just been trying to dwindle my pod stash down and I realized that there are so many pods that I just either haven't tried or haven't tried plain without any syrup or cream or milk. So that is the case with these two amazing pods I'm gonna be trying today. And a little bit of a, I guess, a fun fact about both of these pods. They are from the Espirazone Italiana line, which to me, I believe they're a little bit more darker roasted than a lot of the other espresso on the Nespresso website. So this will be interesting. I believe, you know, just the Italian roasted pods in general are gonna be a little bit darker tasting, okay. So this is going to be a very original line heavy video and I apologize for any of you diehard Virtua levelers out there, but let's get into tasting some of these pods. So the first pod I'm going to be doing is the Milano Intenso pod. Now the Mil Milano Intenso pod is supposed to be, I guess, fruity and intensity eight. Um, and according to the website, it's supposed to have some chocolatey undertones. So I'm going to, I'm going to test espresso. I'm going to see if that's really how it's supposed to be. They do recommend it as an espresso. So that's the way that I'm going to have it for you guys. Okay. So we're going to try it like that plain with nothing else. And then for the Palermo Cazar pod, this is supposed to be a level 12. Okay. Oh my God. A level 12. Y'all already know I will love that. I am not a very dark roasted coffee gal, surprisingly. I can appreciate a complex darker roasted coffee, which I believe this might be just because it is heavy in Robusta bean, which if you guys don't know um, what the difference is between Arabica and Robusta, in terms of um, the taste of the coffee plant. Um, the Robusta is gonna be very uh, sour, kind of intense. If you guys have ever had Vietnamese coffee, that is all Robusta coffee, or at least heavy in Robusta coffee. So with that, you know, I would recommend if you're using this in a recipe, maybe use like a white mocha, condensed milk, kind of like a Vietnamese coffee, or you can just have like sweeter type of coffee and still not have, still have that coffee taste is what I mean. So you know, this would be a perfect pod to pair with that. And that's probably why it is an intensity 12. So I'm excited to try that just on its own and to give you guys that review. But for this pod, the notes are also supposed to be earthy, woody, as well as chocolatey undertones, kind of a roasted earthy taste, apparently. It is an intensity 12, like I said. So we'll see how that is. Interestingly, they also recommend this as either an espresso or a ristretto. So we are going to try both of those today. I will be upfront that I do have a preference for ristretto shots just because I think they're a little bit more honey-like. I, I like the texture of ristretto shots. So because my machine is able to do that, we are going to try that out today. So yeah, let's try the Milano Intenso first and we'll give it a taste test. So I just got done filming the Milano Intenso pod and let's give it a try. Again, intensity eight, kind of chocolatey notes. Let's see if we actually taste that, okay? I'm sorry. I get the fruity taste in the front of it. Just like all the ones I believe in the Espirazone Italiana line or the Italiano line, it definitely does have that nice little sour beginning that makes it complex, which I'm guessing is the acidity, but it's not supposed to be too acidic according to the website. Um, and it's not, it's definitely a nice cup of coffee to like just sip on. Surprisingly, I don't think it's too intense. I think eight is the right level for this pod. However, I'm not really, I mean, maybe a little bit of dark chocolate in the back, but I'm not really getting those like fruity chocolatey notes like they say so i do get a little bit of cereal note like they were talking on the website but other than that not really not really there okay um that's just that's just my opinion so take that as you will I do think this is a really good pod and to be upfront and honest, like I said, I have tried this pod in different recipes and I have really enjoyed it. I do like this pod. Um, I can't remember exactly what types of lattes and stuff I've tried it in. I know for sure I've tried it with the Belgian cookie syrup. 
as well as in a plain uh, caramel latte. And I do really like those syrups with it. I think this is a good one to pair with almost any syrup. It's not overbearing in any way that like fruity or anything like that, that you have to pair it with kind of fruity syrups in order to kind of balance it out. So it's really good. I really like it. I'm gonna get TJ to try this for you guys. You know, he likes more of the darker coffees. I don't know if this will be like enough for him. I think this is just right for me, despite it being an eight. So we'll see what he thinks. Yeah, again, a little bit too tall for my tripod, but let's let's do this. Ooh, that's nice. I, I think it's really nice. I was kind of like off put by it, um, like the idea of it anyway like that, but I, I think it's a good pot. I highly recommend this pot, and I, pro and I definitely will be buying it again. I think this is one of my favorites in that line so far. I mean, I haven't tried the Palermo Cazar pod yet at all, um, but for this one, definitely been my favorite so far. I believe the Freddo Arpeggio, and there's some other ones that I've tried in that line, and I haven't been crazy about them. Like, I would not go out of my way to buy those, but this one, definitely, and I can see why it's limited edition because it is, it is a cute pod, okay? I'd recommend buying this. I think I'm going to give this, like, a nine out of 10. I really like this. I think that this can go with anything. And I think it has a bold enough taste that it won't get um, mustered down or, or covered by any of the syrups that you put with it. Um, and I, I think it's still gonna have that nice coffee taste. So I highly recommend it. Now let's do a Palermo Cazar taste test. Again, we're gonna have this two ways. One is a ristretto, one is a regular espresso. Okay. I just brewed the Palermo Cazar. Okay, honestly, this one smells a lot more like nutty-ish than the other one. I know that sounds weird, okay? Interesting. Mm. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know if I could ever drink this <laughs> black, okay? I'm sorry. That's, that's... Oh, I'm facing my fears today for you guys. Cheers, I guess. Okay. I, you know, I will say, it's a punch in the face, but not to the point that it's like, horrible. You know what I mean? I don't know if you guys understand what I mean just by like me talking about it, but one thing that they mentioned on the website that I think definitely goes with this is the idea that it's syrupy, okay? It's definitely like, um, it's intense, but it's like nice and, you know, smooth almost. So I, I think if I had to pick a darker roasted pod, I would definitely go with like this or maybe even like Scuro or something like that. Like Scuro, not in the original line. The original line, I think the Scuro is a little bit less intense. In the virtual line, the Scuro is definitely like kind of a punch in the face for me. Um, I, I think I've tried the Napoli pod and I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's the same as this. I think this one I like more than the Napoli pod. I think, I can't remember if Napoli's a 12 or like a 13. I forget the rating scale, but this is definitely a 12. This is probably like one of the most intense pods they have. And it's not bad. Again, like the Ital like the Spirozone Italiano line, they have that nice sour kick in the front. Um, it's not supposed to be super acidic. It is supposed to be a little bit bitter and chocolatey. Not really getting the chocolatey notes. Definitely some more fruity notes from this. And definitely like a smooth syrupy, you know, note to this. I, for a Robusta blend, I think this is really good. I'm not very, I'm not really in love with Robusta coffee. So this is actually shocking that I'm actually able to bear this, if that makes sense. So rate that as you will on your scale. I don't know if I would buy this again, just because I'm not a big fan of darker roasted coffee, but if I had to buy it for like TJ's sake, you know, out and about, he wants to have a really nice dark cup of coffee or espresso shot or a latte, I would say that I would, I would get this again for that purpose. Um, for that reason, I will probably, I'll probably give it like, a seven. I think this is a, this is a good pod. Um, you know what? Let me taste it again. <laughs> Y'all are probably looking at me like, what the heck? This girl is so indecisive. Yes. Seven. Okay. I'll give it a seven. I think it's a good pod. Good quality pod. Definitely not like the Jamaican Blue Mountain or the Hawaii Kona. Like no offense. I didn't really like those in the original line. That one I actually kind of like. I think it's a good cup. It's intense, but it's good. 
I'm gonna get TJ to rate it because you know he already loves his dark coffee and we'll see what he thinks. So I've been indecisive on my rating. I finally decided to give it a seven out of 10. I think it's good, but too intense for me. How do you feel? Which one is this? It's the Palermo Cazar. See, even the face you gave, like, you know what I mean? Like that's an intense pod, but it's good. It's not bad. I give it a seven. Yeah, yeah, and that says something. You know, he likes his dark roasted coffee. I think that if you are a really big fan of dark roasted coffee, you love your Vietnamese coffees and stuff, this is gonna be a good espresso shot to have with that. Kind of like the Eel Cafe pod in the Virtual line. I actually think that that tastes, maybe I'm like high or something, but I think that that tastes kind of like it. So I, I think maybe it's the Robusta, um, who knows, but I do think it, it tastes good. I like it. So let's give this pod, the Plamro Cazar pod, a try in the Ristretto shot and see if I like that a little bit more. Because again, I tend to have preferences for the Ristretto shot. So let's see. I brewed it in my cute little original line egg. I call it my egg cup because it does kind of look like an egg to me. Brew the Plamro Cazar on the Ristretto setting. And if you guys saw like the little video of me pouring um, the shot from the machine, um, you can see that it, it just it, like it looks like honey. Hopefully it tastes a little bit sweeter. We'll see. Wow. That I think is better in the Rochado shot. Maybe that's just me being biased. But you don't get that much intensity. I mean, maybe my mouth is kind of numbed out intensity wise from the actual espresso shot, but I think this tastes so good. And I think the reason this tastes different is because the ristretto shots are naturally creamier. It's kind of like the difference between tasting like the cold brew at Starbucks straight up versus the nitro cold brew at Starbucks straight up. Um, definitely not the same because of course this doesn't have nitrous oxide in it, but the creaminess and the texture of a, a coffee or an espresso beverage does changes the flavor profile, I think, a lot. So I think that this, this is really good. I highly recommend, like, I think that this is an eight and a half, easily an eight and a half. Um, I like it. I still do think I like the Milano Intenso a little bit better. And um, I don't know, I don't know how um, a Rochetto shot would impact that, but they didn't recommend it like that, so maybe it's not that good. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe I'll do a YouTube short and try it like that. Okay, okay, wowie wow, that's, that's really good. Okay, so now that we have our ratings in for my end, let's go, let's go ask TJ to taste that and see what he thinks. Okay, so that is the Rochetto setting of the same pod. You don't like it. I mean, the creaminess probably downgraded. There's not much left to it because Ristretto shots are very little. They're probably like 0 0.77 ounces versus the over full ounce for the full espresso. Yeah, I'm happy to give it a six. You, you like it less than the, the espresso? Yes. Interesting, interesting. Okay, well, I'm gonna be a little bit hurt, a little bit by hurt. Okay, no worries. No, I'm just kidding. So yeah, that's my full tally. Take me and TJ's with a grain of salt. I highly recommend that you definitely go out and buy the Milano Intenso pod. I think we both really like that. I think it was good. Um, Palermo Cazar, I think it really is an acquired taste. I think it just depends on you and if you like Il Cafe and a bunch of other darker roasted pods. I think if you like the Intenso Virtuo pod, um, maybe even Stormio, or if you like the, again, Il Cafe and the Virtuo line, you'd probably like the uh, Palermo Cazar in the original line, or if you really like any of the Espirazone Italiano pods, I think that you'll probably end up liking Palermo Cazar. The Italiano line is definitely not my favorite. I'm just gonna be upfront and honest with you guys. Don't really like that line. Um, and rarely do I buy pods out of choice for that line, unless I'm trying them for the first time um, and they're limited edition type of thing. So yeah, that is my final tally. But before I go, I did want to share some upcoming news for some video ideas that I have so that you guys can get prepared and or tune along with me. So apparently they came out with some new pods. I don't know how long ago. I just checked the uh, Nespresso website today and saw this. They have the Whiskey Essence pod, a double espresso pod, um, and they have a few others. I don't know if they like completely replaced some of the flavored coffee like 
I forget what they're called, but they have like, um, not the vanilla eclair, but the vanilla custard pie in the virtual line and a few others in that same like barista creations line that they've completely, I guess, revamped or renamed or did something for both the original and the virtual line. They're calling them some other things now. I'll put them on the screen. I'll also link them below on in the description of my video. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul this weekend when I can. We're gonna be out of town, so I don't wanna get anything mailed because in, in the city, stealing is a problem for packages. So I am gonna go pick them up from the nearest store. So it might be a few days. I might be late to reviewing them and I apologize, but I am gonna to get to them as soon as possible because I did wanna review those pods with you guys. I will say that I haven't tried the original versions of those pods. So this will be kind of a very new taste test for me in terms of like tasting the vanilla custard pie. I have tried the caramel cookie, I believe from the uh, advent calendar. So I can kind of give some insight into that. The only thing I'm not excited for is the fact that they made all of the barista creations um versions of those pods longos i'm not really crazy about longos i don't know if i've ever outright said that on this channel but i'm not very crazy about the original line longos i actually do like the grand longos in the virtual line because i think they just taste really good but the longos in the uh ver original line just taste too watered down for me we will see how that goes again for the purposes of giving you guys an honest review before you guys go out and buy that um feel free to tune in and see my review. Um, if you do want to taste along with me, definitely feel free to buy those pods and we can taste it together. Um, and then other than that, so if you guys haven't noticed in my show notes below, I have, I get, not really partnered, but I am an affiliate of Common Tier Coffee. Common Tier Coffee is this frozen coffee that you pour or you put in the freezer. And once you're ready to use it, it like comes out as a coffee concentrate that you thaw out and you pour over ice water. Um, or you could do hot water and, and it would just be like a hot brewed coffee. It's not espresso, but it is like a coffee concentrate type of thing. So I did order some of that. Um, and if you guys want to order some of that, you guys can click on my link below and I believe you get 20% off or $20 off your first order. So check that out. I used that to see how I ended up liking it. So I think it is a little bit expensive. I have seen some other coffee contenters review it and they do like it. So I wanted to review it and share with you guys my experiences with it before you guys rush out and buy it. But just keeping upfront and honest with you guys, I have become an affiliate of them. I haven't tried them though. So feel free to try it yourself or watch that video from me before you order them. That means I'm gonna have a lot of coffee in the next few months probably because that order from Comments Your Coffee comes with like 30 um, coffee cups and then I'm gonna buy quite a few from the virtual and original line this upcoming weekend. But I have some important news to share with you guys in terms of my stash. Have you guys ever seen my stash so empty? Like look, there's like almost nothing in there. Even more for the virtual, I guess we've just been liking that. There's like almost none left. So that means I've successfully gone through my stash y'all. That's that's a big accomplishment. I didn't think, I didn't think I was gonna get through it. I didn't think I was gonna get through it. I didn't think I had it in me. Okay. So that's gonna be exciting um, to get some more, but there's gonna be a lot more taste tests, a lot more reviews coming up. So get prepared for that. Um, I also want to thank anybody that's been tuning along with me through the channel. I know I'm almost at 100 subscribers now, so it means so much to have your guys' support. I've also seen my name come up in a lot of the Nespresso and Coffee Reddits that they have out there as like, you know, me being something that they like to watch to get reviews from pods um, or just like reviews on Nespresso stuff in general. It means so much. I am a new YouTuber and I do have so much going on in my life in terms of a full-time job, volunteering, getting my medical school applications together. So this is a really fun hobby to have with you guys and I really appreciate that you guys enjoy my content just because I like to do it in my free time and my fun time. So thank you guys so much again for tuning in today and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and I will be getting that content out there for you guys. Bye.